Hello, hello, hello. Autoimmune Prepper here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm just here doing a little chit chat. But what I wanted to chit chat about is, I guess, those who just don't understand the whole uh, prepping community or what prepping is about, why should you prep? Now, I know that there are many videos out there already that talk a great deal about prepping from the beginning to the end, but if you're new to knowing or finding out anything about prepping, if you are new to my channel and this is the first time you're hearing anything about prepping, Hopefully, I can help shed some light from my perspective, from my point of view. So, let's start with people think that we are crazy or extreme or over the top or overboard. I'm quite sure some people probably think that about me. <clears throat> I don't know, but all I can say is I'm just at a point or in a position to where I say I'd rather be safe than sorry. Now, of course, prepping is not anything new. It's been around for years. For some people, it's not even called prepping. It's just a way of life. It's just having an abundance of what you need in a time of struggle or emergency situations but you know I know some people have come on the scene and made it make it seem like um, it's a, an apocalyptic, apocalyptic type of thing zombie situation or you know end of the world grab all you can but again if it's the end of the world you're not gonna be able to utilize the things that you've prepped with anyway because it'll be all over it's like pointless right so that's why we say you're prepping for any situation any emergency situation or scenario again for instance what happened back in march 2020 when the epidemic hit the scene I know you have to kind of talk in code uh, around here on this channel. So um, I'm learning. I just don't want to learn the hard way. So I'm going to tread lightly. But, you know, people were not prepared for that scenario. Some people were. Let me backtrack. You have some people that, like I said, it's already a way of life for them. But then you have some people that have been doing this for, you know, 15, 20 years. So in that case, they were ready. <clears throat> but we, as you saw, the majority of people were not ready because you saw all of the long lines at the stores, people trying to get water. We, you know, we knew everything was just flying off the shelves if you were out there in the stores no TP, toilet paper, water, like nothing, uh, cough medicine, just things that you wouldn't even think would have been gone were gone. So I think people were just in there just buying stuff just to get in on the action, I think. However, you know, a lot of people, they were really trying to get food and stuff. I remember I went out just to be nosy and it's like the stores, it was just like, wow, it was nothing. Like maybe a pack of cookies here or there, but just like almost like nothing. And you saw signs posted on the stores, like at Costco and Sam's Club, we are out of water. We are out of toilet paper. So that's the reason why we are trying to shed as much light on prepping as possible. I don't know, maybe it's the word prepping that people shy away from. 
you know, they feel like, well, we have enough right now, so, you know, we'll be okay. But I think people tend to fall short on thinking long term. What if something happened for a long period of time and stores were closed and you couldn't get to the store to get the things that you need or the computers were down, you can't get your money out of the bank, you can't use your debit card because all you have are credit and debit cards, you don't keep cash. So you can't shop if there was a store open to shop. Now, when we talk about bartering, so let's say there's a scenario. I was talking to a family member because I was mentioning that I was going to do a video today about bartering, which I've already put that out. And their response was, well, you know, bartering. Okay, so when is all this supposed to take place? When are you going to have to barter items? I said, well, nobody knows when it'll take place, but the overall point is to be prepared if it takes place, if and when it happens, you are in a position to barter or to have some things on hand to offer, to exchange with somebody else. Hopefully they will be on the same level. They're going to, you're going to have something they're going to need. And they're going to have to give you something in exchange. So anyway, so as I understand, it's, it, gets, it can get kind of stressful trying to explain to other people the whole concept or the whole purpose of prepping. But, you know, I guess experience is the best teacher as we go and continue to go through these um, crisis, what happened in Texas and those other states, you know, it just helps you to figure out what it is you need to do, or it makes somebody say, you know what, I'm never going to get caught like that again. So I'm going to start doing X, Y, and Z so that if this ever happens again, I'll be ready for it. Prayerfully, it won't, but you just never know. Thus, the point of prepping. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You have extra food and water. Great. You know, maybe for a few months, you won't have to go grocery shopping. You have so many preps. That's the other thing. So I've seen people make comments and statements about, you know, I've been prepping and putting up food and canned goods for excuse me, for several years and nothing has happened. So I feel like I wasted my money, you know, trying to prep when they shouldn't look at it that way. Be grateful that nothing did happen. So now you, you have these items. So don't go grocery shopping for a minute, you know, utilize the food that you have before they, they expire. Or donate them or, or give it away if you don't think you want to eat it or if you can't consume it in enough time. But canned goods, they, they're still good well beyond their um, expiration date. But again, you know, you do your own research when you, when you know, are talking about food and consuming food beyond a best buy date or expiration date, whichever date you have on your um, food items. But um, I'm saying this to say it's not a waste of time. It's a good investment because just think, okay, you have some cash, extra cash just laying around, you know, make your dollars work for you. Put it to good use. Turn it into tangible items. That way <coughs> you have some leverage to work with. You have your own little mini store inside your home. You don't have to venture out to the store, you know, as often. And again, 
if hard times fall on you for some reason, you know, look how many people are like are unemployed. And if they had a good stockpile of, you know, food, water, juice, whatever it is you consume, snacks, candy, you can breathe because you have, in in essence, a, a cushion or an insurance. Consider it as your insurance policy that can back you up in your time of, of need, if need be. And you don't have to, you know, go begging or borrowing from other people because you have your own. Now, it's good that the food banks are out there, but you got to think, look at how many people need to utilize it. So you want to be one less person having to go and, you know, collect food from the food banks or the churches because you, you have your own. So prepping is not a bad thing. Preppers, not all, are not cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, just cautious. And you always want to be in a position to where you don't have to react because you're taking action. So you taking those action steps so when something happens, you don't have to react and get scraps or get what's left over because you were not being proactive. You want to have the first choice on what it is you and your family consume and how you stay warm. If you want a soft, fuzzy, cozy, warm blanket, a nice, thick, rugged wool blanket, you know, you don't want to be tossed a moth eaten blanket when you can have a, a, a stockpile of your own blankets, covers, and things to keep you warm. Just some examples of, of some stuff. So just be mindful. Watch videos. Get the information that you need. No need to be nasty on anybody's video. No nasty comments. If they're talking about something you already know about or you're not interested in, just move along, keep it moving. Or if they have bits and pieces that you can use, you take those bits and pieces, apply them to your situation, and you just leave the rest on the table for somebody else to pick up the pieces out of there that they can pick up. So anyway, I don't want to hold you. I just wanted to put that out there. You know, preppers are not crazy, just proactive people that are cautious don't want to get caught with the pants down. Don't want to be standing in the long lines when situations come around um, that are beyond our control. So control what you can while you can. It's just that simple. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave your nice comments down in the comment section. I greatly appreciate it. I love interacting with the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to say it again. Remember to wake up and start every day with an attitude of gratitude. Bye.